Hello. So here in these uh, is a continuation of the video series for 5.2. So here we'll look at application of, tri of trigonometry of right angles. So if you have a, a triangle has six parts, it has three angles and what's and three sides. So when we say to solve a triangle, it simply means we want to determine all the parts that is missing. Um, so like here in this case now, look at example four. We are given that uh, we're given one angle here. We have almost all the angles. So we just need the side. Because if this is 30, this is what, 90, surely we have this to be 60, right? But what do we need? We want to solve. When we say solve, we mean we want to find all the angles and all the sides. So here we just need to find what is A and what is B, right? Because we already have what uh, what is uh, one side, which is 12, is the hypotenuse. Now we can use any of the ratios, depending on which angle you want to use. For example, if I want to use 30 degree, then this becomes our opposite. This is still remains our hypotenuse, and this remains our adjacent. So it means we can use, uh, but here we don't know what is A, so, and we can use sine 30, it's okay. Sine 30 is just going to be A over what, over 12. Why? Because sine 30, this is opposite over hypotenuse. So let me just put it this way first. This is going to be opposite over the hypotenuse, which you can call your what? You can say y over r, right? It's fine. So sine 30 is nothing but a over what? Over 12. So A, you can see, is just 12 sine of 30 degrees. And this is 12 times what? 1 over 2, because sine 30 is 1 over 2. So it means that A is just 6. All right, now that we have A is 6, we can find B. Now, you don't need uh, to find B. You can as well use, uh, what can we use to find B? All right, we can actually find B without knowing what A is. So you have two options. Now that you have A, you can use the Pythagoras theorem to find B, or we can still use 30 degree. Remember, B is standing as what? As the adjacent. So we can use cosine 30, which is going to be adjacent. So it's going to be B over hypotenuse, B over 12, right? Yes, so, but what is cosine 30? It's root 3 over 2. It's B over what? Over 12. And now you can see that twice of B is going to be 12 root of 3. You can divide both sides by 2. So you will have 6 root of 3. That is B. So this is one way to find. All right, so example 5. It says find the value of x in the figures below. So we want to find the value of x. Um, what can we do? There are several ways we can we can do this, but let's just let's look at this one. If you're looking for x, look at what is x. X is the distance between the full distance here. So let's call this m, and let's call this m. So in other words, it means that x is nothing but what? m plus what? Plus n. So, but you can see easily, if I call this triangle A, B, C, and D, if we, we can easily get m, right? So we can say in triangle A, B, C, if you look at triangle A, B, C now, we can use sine is it sine? Sine 60 is going to be 100 over what? Over, is it sine 60? No. Sine or tan. Because if we are using sine 60, you know there is a right angle here. So this becomes our adjacent. So it's going to be tan. 
So tan 60 degree is going to be opposite, which is still 100 over adjacent, right? So it means that you will have M. Uh, okay, let's go with tan. What is tan 60? Tan 60 is root three. So root three is 100 over M. And uh, this means that uh, M is going to be 100 over what? Over root of three, correct? Yes. And uh, you can rationalize this by multiplying by root three over root of three. So M is going to be what? 100 root three all over three. So this is M. Now, in the same way, we can find N. So let's see now in triangle, uh, uh, what do we use now? We can use ADC, right? ADC, you see, we can still use tan, but now it's tan 30 is going to be 100 over N. But what is tan 30? Tan 30 is one over root three, right? It's equals to 100 over N. Um, here we can, uh, what does that mean? So it means that N is what? 100 root of what? Root of three. Is that okay? Yes. So this is N. And then remember X is what? Is M plus N which is just going to be 100 root 3 over 3 plus what? 100 root of 3. And now what that means is what? It's simply um, here you can, you can multiply this by 3 over 3. So you can multiply this by So we can multiply this by three over three. Say three over three, right? So once we do that, now this becomes what? So here becomes a uh, hundred plus what? Three hundred through three. Okay, so here there's also the three. So this is hundred root three plus 300 root three, everything over three. So this is like 400 root three over three. This is our X. Okay, now next question is this. So here also we want to find what? Uh, we want to find the value of what's of X. So how do we solve this one? So we can use the, yeah, first of all, we can, it's fine. Um, we can also get what is this. Uh, we can get what is this part from here to here. Let's call it, uh, let's call it still M. And what you can see is, it's always good to label. Now there are many ways you can solve this one, but let's use this one. So you see in what, if you look in triangle, um, let's call it A, D now, let's call it A, D, B. We can use also what opposites over, so tan 60, is going to be 85 over M. You can see that. Yes. So, but what is tan 60 is root of 3. So, root of 3 is 85 by M. So, here we're just going to have M is going to be 85 over what? Root of 3. And uh, which is the same thing as what? 85 root of 3 divided by 3. Okay. So it means we have M already. Then uh, 
Okay. So what can we do? This is X. All right. So this is one way to do it. Uh, another way, which we, which would have even be much, much easier. I think let's explore that one. Let's explore that method. It's much easier and faster. Um, you can see that here is what, what we did is correct, but I think there should be a faster way. There is a faster way. Look, if this is 60, it means that this is what, this is 120 degree, right? And since this is 120 degree, uh, it means that this angle here has to be 30 degree, right? Because if this is 30, this is 30, this also has to be 30 degree. So if you look at what, if you look at angle A, D and C, is a right angle triangle, but the base angle are the same. So since the base angle are the same, it means that these two sides have to be the same. So these two sides have to be the same, right? So this is, this is one thing about isosceles triangle. For isosceles triangle, the base angles are the same, then the two sides has to be the same. So it means that to find X, so it means this, this line is just, this is also X, all right? So if this is X, we're still going to use, we're still going to use this triangle, A, D, B. So if you're using triangle A, D, B now, what can we see? Remember, we want to find X directly. This is X. So this is opposites over what's, you're yeah, using 60. So this is opposite and this is still hypotenuse. So sine 60, it's simply 85 over what? 85 over X. Yes, that is sine 60. So what is sine 60 is root three over two. It's just 85 over X. And then you will have root three of X is equals to this one. So you multiply 85 times two, which is about 170. So X is just going to be around 170 divided by root of three. And then we can rationalize this one to be 170 root three all over three. So that will be the value of X. So just a quick one again, what did we do? If, if here is 60, this is going to be 120 because of the sum of angle. The line is going to be 180. So, if, and here 30, so automatically here becomes 30. Then we use the fact that the base angle are the same, then these two sides have to be equal. All right. Okay, so here also, we want to find this one here. So how do we solve this? Now, if you use the big, the big triangle, we can use the big triangle to find what is X, or we can use, we can use this angle first here. Then you can see that here is already five, this is given. And then we can find the what's we can find the bigger the bigger length if you want. Okay, so let's let me do it that way. This is A, B, uh, C, and what and D. So if you have this, now you can see if we use this, uh, let's consider in triangle. Let's use A. D and B. If we use A, D and B now, we can find this angle. We can find this part, call it what Y. We can find Y. So it means that 
this is opposites, right? This is opposites, and this is going to be our hypotenuse. Because if we consider this, you are going to have something like this. Just look at it. You will have this and this one, right? But here, don't forget, the right angle is where... Let me draw this again out. So this is what we have, something like this. So as you can see here, the right angle is where? It's a D. So this is our D, and this is what, 30 degrees. And you see here, it's no longer, it's not a complete, because I'm taking up to B, right? So it's not a complete right angle, right? So it means we can find this point. But what is this? This is what? This is 5. Now, since this is 5, what we can do is, we can do opposites here over what's, over hypotenuse so you can see actually we can say sine 30 is what is 5 over what let's call it y we just call it this is not part of it but you see we label it y so let's call it y and uh, what is sine 30 sine 30 is just 1 over 2 it's just going to be 5 over y and this means that y is going to be what 10 right so y is going to be 10. So what that simply means is that the whole of this distance is what is 10. We have it now with our y. So y is equals to 10. All right. So the next thing we need to do now is we consider what the bigger triangle. The bigger triangle is A, B, and what? A, B, and C. So in that case, we will have something like this, something like this, like this. So here is going to be right angle now. So this is going to be A, B, and C. So we don't need the D. Forget about this line now, because we want to use the big triangle. But this still remains as 30 degree. And don't forget, now we have the length here to here which is now 10. And then we are looking for what? We are looking for X. So it goes easily. So what is X? We will still use opposite over what's adjacent in this case, because this is our right angle. So here we have 30, 10, 30 is going to be opposite X over what? Over 10. So easily X is what? Is 10, 10 what? and 30 degrees. And what is this? This is 10. What is 10, 30? Is it 1 over 3, right? 1 over 3, yes. So in other words, x is going to be 10 root 3 over what's over 3. Yes, so this is one way to solve this one. Right. Okay, so here now we talk about, um, yes, so I think that is enough. So in our next, uh, we'll be looking at angle of elevation and depression in the next video.